My name is Emma Bones, and today I'm going to tell you all about Bridge Scour, mainly what it is and why we care about it, how we calculate it, and then what we can do to prevent it. Now we're really concerned with preventing Bridge Scour because scour is the erosion and removal of particles, sediment, dirt, rocks from around the base of bridges, their abutment, piers, and the opening. Now we care so much about this because if this happens too much, it can weaken the bridge's foundation, cause it to fail, causing loss of life and damage to property. Now in order to prevent bridge failure, we must first know how to calculate bridge failure. And bridge failure is calculated using two main components, contraction scour and local scour. Now contraction scour occurs as water is forced through a more narrow channel, such as when water moves from the wider area of a river into the more narrow area of a bridge opening. The second component, which is local scour, occurs around piers and abutments, so the scour happens locally in these areas. And this occurs as water is forced around them and scours away the sediment. Now luckily, there are some things we can do to prevent this. Some of these include simply building piers and abutments deeper into the ground to prevent the scour hole from scouring them out. Other things include guide banks or armory, or many other different solutions that can be used depending on the situation, the budget, and the amount of scour predicted.